Rahman Ibrahim. Welcome to the quantity survey course. In this lecture, we will discuss the quantity of cluster calculation. So, let us start our topic. First, we will study out some basic points relating to the cluster on the building on the wall. So, here you see following points you should remember at the site when you are calculating the cluster quantity means water, cement and sand. For wall cluster, generally ratio is taken as 1 ratio 6, 1 part of cement and 6 part of sand. For roof clustering, mainly ratio we use 1 ratio 4. The thickness of cluster is between 12 mm to 15 mm. Always use good quality of cement as well as good quality sand. Always use mirroring box for mirroring the quantity of sand and cement at the side. So you can maintain the, your ratio as we are using 1 ratio 6 here. So mirroring box will help us to maintain the, this ratio. For your better understanding, let's solve this example and find the results. Example, suppose we have an area of 200 meter square length into width. Over that area, we need to perform plus 12 millimeter thick. The ratio of cement and sand, we are using 1 ratio 6. So, for calculate the required quantity of water, cement and sand used in the, this cluster. Given data is plaster thickness, we are given 12 millimeter. So we know that 1 meter having a 1000 millimeter. So let us calculate 12 millimeter into meter. 12 divided by 1000 to convert it into meter. This is plaster thickness is 0 0.012 meter area we required to perform the plaster is 200 meter scale we are using the ratio 1 ratio 6 so let's go to solution of this numerical first we calculate the volume of the plaster wet volume water plus wastage plus bulking of sand then we convert the volume into dry volume after calculating the volume we just find the quantity of cement sand and water required in this plaster work according to these given data what is bulking of sand here it is term used bulking of sand means increase uh, of the volume of the sand when we go from wet volume to the dry volume increase of volume of sand Okay, volume of the mortar required. Let us calculate the volume. We are having the area of 200 square meter and then multiply it with the thickness of mortar. We require thickness of mortar is 0 0.012. Let, us, let me calculate it on the calculator. 0 0.012 thickness into area. Area is 200 square meter. It will give us 2.4 cubic meter. So this is the wet volume of the mortar. Wet volume is 2.4 cubic meter. So 2.4 meter cube is a wet volume of cement mortar with water. But we need dry volume to get dry volume consider 20% bulking of the sand. Means that in, to go for the dry volume, sand volume increases 20%. So we have to consider this factor and 15% wastage of the sand on the site. We take this both factor and then we add them. This factor 20% increase of the volume is just for 1 cubic meter and 15% wastage is also for 1 cubic meter. So here we will add this factor to the wet volume. Wet volume is 2.4 meter cube multiply it with here. 1 plus 1 cubic meter. This is for 1 cubic meter. So that's why we add 1 plus 
20 divided by 100 0 0.2 15 divided by 100 0 0.15 so it will give us the factor 1.35 always multiply the wet volume of the mortar with the factor 1.35 to get it the dry volume so here let me calculate it on the calculator here you will see 1 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.15 this is the factor 1.35 so multiply this factor with the our wet volume 2.4 cubic meter it will give, give us 3.24 cubic meter this is dry volume now we have calculated the dry volume of mortar required cement required for the 3.24 cubic meter dry volume dry, this is the formula dry volume into ratio divided by sum of the ratio this is the main formula to calculate the volume of cement dry volume into ratio divided by sum of the ratio but here we are multiplying with the density of the cement because we are going to calculate the weight in kg not we are that's why we are here multiplying with the density if we just want to calculate the volume then we no need to multiply it with the density of the cement here we want to weight in kg not here volume so that's why we multiply here with the density 3.24 is the dry volume multiply the, with the ratio of the cement we are having the one part of the cement because we are using one ratio six one is sand, cement and six ratio is sand so one multiply with the density of the cement is 14 40 kg divided by some other ratio one plus six is seven so let me calculate it on the calculator 3.24 dry volume into one which is ratio of cement into density of cement 1440 kg per meter cube it will give us then divide it by 7 sum of the ratio here we have 666.5 kg so to calculate it in bag of cement how much bag of cement we required divide it by 50 or one bag having 50 kg weight so it will give us 13.5 almost 13.5 kg bag cement is required let's go for sand required dry volume into ratio multiplying 35.3147 here we are just we do not need to multiply it with this factor this is just to calculate it in cubic feet if you want to remain in meter cube do not multiply with 35.3147 so divide by some of the ratio here 3.24 dry volume of the mortar and ratio of the sand is 6 1 ratio 6 we are using 1 ratio 6 so 6 is sand multiply with the this 35.3147 because one meter cube having 35.3147 cubic feet so that's why we're multiplying it to convert it into cubic feet so what we are converting actually volume of cubic meter to cubic feet of sand so then divide by 7 let me calculate it on the calc here you will say 3.24 into 6 into 3 35.3147 then divide it by 7 98 cubic feet we require sand 98 cubic feet so next water required for here water cement weight of the cement is we are just calculated here weight of the cement in kg 666.5 kg so then multiply it with the water cement ratio we are using water cement ratio most 
of the cases we use 0.45 or 0.5 here we are using 0.5 so multiply it with 0.5 here 0.5 kg water every 1 kg of cement so so for calculating the water in liter we will multiply 0.5 water cement ratio to the weight of the cement let me calculate it on the calculator here you will say 666.5 into 0 0.5 333.25 kg or liters liters we required 333.25 liters of water for our volume of 3.24 cubic meter mortar conclusion so finally these are our results which we have been calculated cement required for mortar 3.24 cubic meter is 666.5 kg sand required is 98 cubic feet and water required 333.25 liters so these quantities are going to use in our 12 millimeter thick plaster in 200 meter square area in 200 square meter area the water cement ratio 0.5 is not fixed it depends on which type of plaster is going to do or the compressive strength we get after fixing the water cement ratio in one ratio 6 mixture so thanks for watching this lecture please stay tuned for next